Hello guys, we are back on Astroneer today, and I've done a little bit of work off camera. All I did was make this large shuttle, and I just added a few more cars to the rover. So, so I've done off camera, and we're back with another episode. And in this episode, our goal is to make this fuel condenser right down. Where is it? It's probably under this category. Nope. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's right here. Yep, it costs 3,500 bytes, and that's our goal to make it today. So, I'm going to run out, get some bites, and um, I'm going to well, not the bites, but going to go grab things that makes the bites, and I'll be right back after that. Okay, we grabbed one off this tree right here, and there's one around this area right there, so let's go grab this one. Number two, right down here, and let's keep on getting some more. Okay, we have ran out of power because it's night time, but let's just carry these two right over here. There we go, and let's bring them to the research center. Here we go. I'm gonna place this one right in here. Nope, wrong button. Okay, there we go. And research that, and then we're going to grab this other one and put it in the other researcher just so that we can start getting those bites still and we need to make some more wind turbines because I'm pretty sure they work when it's windy out and they can sometimes produce energy at night time so that's good not bad 700 bytes right there and what the fuel condenser does this little thing right here is a hydrazine catalyzer you can only put high um, the hydrazine stuff in it the ammonium and so when you do that it's kind of like hard to get, but with the fuel condenser, I'm pretty sure that you can just use power to create fuel. And yeah, that's the one thing I like about that, because you can pretty much always have a good amount of power and stuff. So yeah, we're just going to grab this little, actually no, it's not working right now, so just leave it there. And we are just going to go down into the caves I guess for now while it's nighttime and you know get some auras and stuff so yeah so let me just drop off some of this stuff over here this is where I've been dropping my stuff off recently just because giant pile so might as well okay now the caves are this way if I remember I haven't played this in a while this is I've been really into Fortnite, and so let's start going down this cave. I know that there's some of the, uh, what's it called? I can never think of the name for this. Never mind, whatever, it just has some good ores. This is the ammonium stuff, the stuff to create fuel right now. But I've currently mined up that little section all the way pretty much, and yeah. So we're just going to be looking for some copper, some malachite, or some of the aluminum. And there's some power on the roof of there. What's this right down here? Ooh, it's ammonium. Perfect. We're going to want to grab some of that, so this is what we're going to do. We're just going to make a tether real quick. Here we go. There we go. And is it spacebar? Nope, wrong button. Uh, oh yeah, it's, it's T for Tether. I'm so dumb. Okay, there we go. And let's start mining this stuff up. Let's see if we can get some of this stuff for the rockets. Oh, sounds like there's a dust storm going on right now, so. That's not too good. Well, we're underground and this... One turbine is up there, so I'll say we're... That's actually good, actually. Sweet, so this is going to be enough power to get us onto, like, the moon again and stuff. And I remember what I was trying to do with the moon. I, I just realized what my problem was and why I wasn't getting power. I need to make a solar panel or a wind turbine so that I can just that, like, gain power and be able to do other stuff because without power, you can't do anything in this game. 
And let's make our way around this area. If it lets me get around. There we go. And we've got some malachite and ammonium over here. No, 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 no. Yep, those plants are deadly. Try to dig them up before they kill me. Oh, jeez. I hate these plants so much. Run. Oh, jeez, that was a close one. They're not getting me today. Perfect. We got them. But we still have that one little thing left. And there we go. So now it's harvest up all of this ammon ammon ammonium. I couldn't pronounce it there for a second, but whatever. It's all good. There is so much ammonium here. Jeez. How much is there? Pretty sure one more stack goes on to the side of my little digger or whatever it's called. I forget what this thing is called actually. Uh terrain analyzer, I don't know. Well but whatever, let's just um head back up to the top and I'll be right back once we get there. Okay guys, we've reached the top and now we're going to be putting this ammonium into the hydrazine catalyzer. And then we are going to be making up some of this power over here. So let's catalyze this, and then there we go. It's going to pump it into these little tanks, and then we're going to be getting power. And that's how simple this is for the hydrogen catalyzer, if you can actually find the stuff to do it. And I'm assuming for now on we're probably going to be using the large rockets, so let's fill her up. I don't know if it takes more to take off of her, but but if it does, then that's a little sad. If it if it don't, then good because yeah, hopefully you get more takeoffs with the amount of fuel this thing can hold. But I'm assuming it'll take more just because it's like bigger and yeah. Let's just put this right back up here and keep on filling this thing up. There we go. And I'm pretty sure this is a smelter. Probably. <laughs> I don't even know what my stuff does anymore. But whatever. Let's let's see how many bytes we're at right now. 2,800. We're, we're not getting any bytes right now. But I remember I had a piece of coal over there. And at the moment I'm not using coal. So we can, you know, just do that. Get some bytes in. And how many bytes do we need for this thing? Nope, wrong category. 3,500, so all we need is one more of those little little buds in the tree, I guess, and then we've got this, so I'm just going to fill this up, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we finally got enough for the fuel condenser now, so let's research that. Boom. Okay, now we're going to create one. Is it in... Well, that's just fun those materials off to side <coughs> uh... looks like it's not in here where could this be actually let's see could it be under this category uh...
Let's grab this wind turbine right here. Just because it's starting to get windy now. Place this down. Uh, is the wind going to be here yet? I don't know actually. How many bytes per minute are we getting? 37. Okay, that's a little bit more than what I thought we would be getting, so. Yeah, this is taking a long time. We just need to get a little bit of wind here that this thing can start doing its job and getting some power, you know. But, let's just go over here and stop this and check out how much we have left on it. 220, I would say it's fine. We're just going to stop that and get some of our power back. That's because this thing was just taking so long to gain any power. And I'll be back once this thing is done doing its job and smelting up the power. I mean the copper. Okay guys, copper's done smelting. Let's grab this stuff up and go over here. If this is the right place. Yes it is. And we are going to be placing the copper into here so we can make our fuel condenser. There we go. Let's print her up. And... Wow, it's actually moving really fast. Oh, it's because it's daytime now. And all the solar panels opened up and stuff, so that's good. Looks like we need to gain some more power first. Oh, never mind. It was because I was, I'm stupid. I was just sanding it on top of it. Let's just pick this up right here. And it's done. Let's unpack it. That's cool. Let's check out how this works. Let's grab a canister and place it right on here. No, no, no. There. Condense. Um. Well. Don't really know what it's doing right now. I'm pretty sure it's using the power to make the fuel so that's pretty cool and then what it's doing it's taking the fuel from right here and then it's bringing it right into there so that's how the fuel condenser works and while I was waiting for all that stuff to like fill up and stuff and for the bites to be made I just filled up this rocket pretty much all the way and yeah so that's how the fuel condenser works I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna end it here See you next time, guys, and bye.